Hey guys, what's up? Do you know that feeling when you find the one? So that principle applied today with this new DS4 2022 version. I have with me the e Tense plug-in hybrid version and today we will review it. I will show you everything about this new DS4 interior, exterior, technical data. We will talk about the car. At the end of this video, you will find out everything about the car. Guys, I test the car before, I see it before, and I have to tell you, this is the best car in this class in 2022. It's incredible. I mean, the quality inside the car it's the same as you find it in an S-Class, a Mercedes S-Class. And this is the hatchback. This is the compact class. It's just incredible. I mean, stay with me until the end of the video and you will find out everything about the car. Before we go forward, I want to tell you guys that I'm here in Switzerland at Emil Frey in Mosedorf. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out, uh, if you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, if you want to test drive it. Something that I totally recommend you. If you are on the market for a car in this class, you have to try this new DS4. It's just crazy. Now, guys, let's go forward to give you some technical data. So the basis price for this model, this is the e tense kind of a top end version. This is the DS4 uh, e tense Rivoli here in Switzerland, I mean that this is the top of the top and the price start at 52,900 francs. Of course, you can get it with other petrol engine or diesel engine and the price start, if I'm not wrong, around 36,000 francs around there. You can get it also much, much cheaper. I know it's a big price for this class, but it's, it's an S class. Trust me, I mean, the quality here, it's just crazy. You will see it as we go forward. Now, 52,900 francs, the basis price with all these options that you will see it in the video today uh, that I will explain you. 12,140 francs are the options. The price will go up to 65,040 francs. But here at Emil Frey, guys, in Mosedorf, you will have a 3,000 francs discount already. And the final price will be 62,590 francs. It's a big price, I know, for this class, but the car is just top of the top. You will see uh, the comfort features, the safety features. It's just incredible. Anyway, those are the most important information. Now, I want to give you some extra tips here. For example, the weight of the car, 1,851 kilograms, the consumption 1.6 liter plus 60.8 kilowatt hour because it has that electric motor and also the battery. I will explain you about that in a second. 36 CO2 grams, great, great CO2 emission. Also, it's in A class, efficient class. That's good. Now, let me go a little bit deeper into details before we start the review. As I said before, the car comes with a petrol engine that is 1.6 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line. And this engine is combined with an electric motor and an electric battery and together will produce 225 horsepower, 360 Newton meters. And all this power is connected with an eight speed automatic transmission. This is the automatic transmission that Peugeot and Stellantis group use it as well. It's a gorgeous. I mean, it's really, really good. You can check out also, I will have a separate video with this DS4 test drive there you can see more about driving about transmission about all that information about driving now going forward it's a front wheel drive car also the fuel tank capacity 40 liters the car come with a 12.2 kilowatt hour battery and the range of the car only in electric mode you can drive with this car up to 55 kilometers this is the vltp estimated in real life probably will be around 40 45 kilometers but it's still great i mean for most of the people to go home and work with the car and if you have the possibility to charge it every day you can drive only in electric mode with this car and you can save a lot of money and when you go to long trips you can use the petrol engine and this is awesome these days when the petrol is going so high with the price the top speed of the car 233 km per hour super super good top speed i should say 7.7 .7 seconds 0 to 100 also quite quite good the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front and brake discs on the rear also normally the car will come with 17 inch rims but this model rivoli model 
come with 19 inch rims and we have winter tires that's something to keep in mind the turning radius of the car 10.8 meters the trunk space 390 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1190 liters also the car come with independent mcpherson suspension coil spring with anti-roll bar on the front on the rear it comes with independent cross arm torsion bar and anti-roll bar so those are the most important information guys i hope i cover everything if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask now let's start the review exterior and then we will go in the interior and in the end we will make together a conclusion so yeah let's do it guys all right guys here we are this is the key it's the same key as the Lantis group Peugeot also use it on other cars and what you can do with the key it's very simple you can lock and unlock also you can open the trunk because the car come with an automatic lift gate but i want to show you something check this out guys you don't even need to touch the key when you come close to the car the car will open the doors for you and also it comes with these lovely handles that will come inside the car uh, that is phenomenal i mean no other car in this class can do that guys that's why i tell you this is this is my favorite car definitely my favorite car look at this you lock the car and the handles are going inside that helped aerodynamic of the car that add a little bit of premium to the car and fanciness and design and and it's it's gorgeous and also the boat handles in the front on the rear the same story also the car come with electric folding mirrors as you can see they work just incredible good they look good with the car they fit just awesome i mean i love this function another thing that i tell you before is that you can open the trunk from the key it comes with automatic lift gate on the trunk not many cars guys in this class will come with automatic lift gate in the trunk this is incredible uh, you can open it up from here and if you want to close it you have to press this button it's it's incredible i mean from this point of view it's just awesome and if that's not enough for you guys the handles and the keyless entries and all that fancy stuff look at this i want to show you something let me zoom in a little bit look at the lights check this out look at the lights guys it has a nice playing with the lights oh boy lovely lovely look at this one more time a little bit closer in the night time it looks just incredible you have to see this in the night time guys it looks just wow and also it has some fancy violet light inside there i think you can see it it's incredible <laughs> lovely the latest technology in terms of lights as well yeah let me turn on the lights and turn on the engine and let's go forward to talk a little bit about the exterior design the color first of all is just wow i mean i like so much this color it's, it's splendid the color i will definitely get the car in this color and the combination uh, of the color with the black glossy roof it looks just phenomenal look at this guys look at this glossy roof it looks so nice i like the fact that the car is not that tall i'm actually 173 centimeters guys and if you look at me the car come until here until here yes so it's not a tall car that means it goes easy through the air and it has a great aerodynamic i like that the fact that the car is not tall and i don't know how they manage to do that it's not tall and if you go down to the ground clearance it has a tall quite quite big ground clearance i mean it left there a lot a lot of space so you can go also over the pops over the holes without any problem so that's just incredible i don't know how they managed to do that and we will go inside the car and you will see that you have a lot of space also in the interior look at the lines look at the design it's just super super nice it's one of the most beautiful design in this class look at those lines here uh, in the back of the car look at those sharp lines and edges here the way it comes is just gorgeous i mean really really beautiful car really beautiful exterior even in the front here again some nice lines added here it's so unique it looks so unique and so good i have nothing to say look at it guys super modern design exterior design it's it's top notch top notch i think it's the the most beautiful car in this class 
really beautiful. Look at the back of the car. It's like a Porsche. Like a Porsche Panamera, it looks a little bit the back of the car. And also the design, and also the way you look at it. Look at the, on the glass. Here we have a glass roof here, and it's black, everything. It looks so good. The black roof, glossy, look awesome. The radio antenna, the roof spoiler here, the way it's extended. It looks in a big, big way. Beautiful. LED lights, brake light. We have some uh, chrome design on the upper side of the windows there. Are the chrome design in combination with the handles. Handles are in chrome and we have a little bit of chrome on the down part of the doors right there. Also around the windows we have glossy. This is the new trend. You can see the glossy down here on the down part of the windows. Tinted windows in the back, tinted windows on the side and also here in the back. DS logo here beautiful the way they extend it the way they design it is just in a big way here on the driver's side you have the charging port for the battery in ac you can charge the battery 12.2 uh, kilowatt hour battery up to 55 kilometer range in electric mode only super nice look at the window here how nice they design it you have a wiper it's relatively small you will think it's very small but after i drive the car i make the test drive i notice that i really have a good visibility you will see when we go inside i will show you that as well then look at the lines look at the lines extended here some chrome design insertion also here ds e tens ds4 lovely what do you think guys we have some fake exhaust pipes here, also on the down part. Fake exhaust pipe, they are fine. A little bit of glossy plastic on the down part and some light reflectors, they are very useful down here on the both side and glossy plastic. We have four sensors on the rear for parking sensors, the bumper, a lot of lines, sharp edges lines. Really interesting car, beautiful, the French know how to make beautiful design on the cars anyway these days in the last year Stellantis group kill it look at the lights look at those snake skin design on the lights awesome turning signals following turning signals even the fog lamps everything it's LED everything it's full LED look at the both of them it's it's like a Porsche really the back design is like a Panamera I really like the design, super aggressive, super sporty. And in the same time, when you are inside the car, it's lovely, lovely, comfortable. Man, I love the back of the car. Here you have the tank, the petrol tank on the, on the other side. Let's go down here on the down part of the, uh, of the doors. You have this plastic with a chrome design. It's good that it's plastic because it protects the doors, for example, if you open the door you open it with those plastics so if you hit something on a down part you will be protected that's a good thing also even here on the down part they add some lines here on the front door really nice they split it in two here in this area i wish it was a little bit more protected with a little bit more plastic you know here is directly the paint of the car i wish it although to make it a little bit more extended to have more plastic here to protect this area it has a little bit but i wish it has more um, because in time you will get some uh, scratches there from the stones and stuff like that look at the mirrors beautiful mirrors not beautiful super nice design i like the way they designed this turning signals on the upper side here beautiful shape and uh, edges here you can see how they design the edges of the mirror blind spot technology in the corner you have the mirror in black this upper part yes quite aerodynamic and small and down part even the leg i like the fact that the leg it's in the same color as the car and even down part this down part and it's extended a little bit upper it's in the same color as the car you have a camera here because the car come with 360 degrees camera you have an led light here to illuminate the floor in the night time so yeah super thick i will show you the the cameras also when we go inside i like this idea of combining the mirror uh, leg with the color of the car and then uh, the black the upper part in black like the roof of the car Splendid really beautiful car first of all when I see the car I stay a little bit from farther away Like here and I was looking I was just watching the car from the exterior 
I was like, wow, damn. Really, they make it a nice car. On the internet, it doesn't look so nice, but when you see it in real, it really, really stand out. Also, camera we have there on the windscreen for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, and all that safety features, and also the sensors for light and raining. All that technology, I test it in the test drive. Check out the test drive. There you find more information. The front of the car, it looks not so aggressive, not so sporty, but it looks elegant and look premium. And it's kind of stand out. You immediately know this is an expensive car when you see it from farther away from the exterior. And this color really help it a lot. Look at the hood. We have those lines here. We have the e tense logo here. Then we have those sharp edges. Beautiful hood. Look at the lights, guys. The latest technology, metrics, LED lights, turning signals lovely the daylight it's here it's extended so beautiful so nice can show you close up we have there the ds matrix led light vision i don't know if you can see the writing there but it is in a big way splendid splendid it looks really good again in the front here the bumper it's relatively big four parking sensors some chrome design insertion here they insert chrome almost everywhere on the down part quite simple uh, right here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features air intakes here some air intakes on the upper part this is the grill relatively big grill with some chrome triangles uh, roms here and then we have the DS logo. On the upper side of the DS logo, we have this night vision radar. That's very useful in the nighttime. And we have the camera in the front here for 360 degrees cameras. Oh boy, beautiful. What do you think, guys? Write me in the comments. Tell me what you think. But the back of the car is just, whoa. Kill it, really kill it. Now, down here, we have a camera, reverse camera and we have also led lights on the number plate that's a good thing and also we have a sprinkle here so you can wash the camera from the interior that's a good thing again and this is it guys we have here winter tires 19 inch rims look perfectly with the car they fit really good and after i test drive the car i noticed that they are super comfortable also it helps the suspension a lot ventilated brake this on the front uh, as you can see here also on the rear we have normal brake discs other than that the same story they fit really good guys 19 19 inch rims with this car is just lovely look at it it's perfect it's, it's the perfect size that it comes out you can also put it out if you want to but the key is inside the car it comes also inside uh, automatic let me close the lights and also the engine i want to show you the engine bay guys want to open up the engine bay then we will go inside by the way in terms of doors quality you can hear it for yourself sound really good also a lot of rubbers here around the the doors even here the sound insulation it's really really good also here it's very good the sound insulation i noticed that when i test drive the car going in the front let's open that hood it's for the first time when i open it where is this here yes oh check this out automatic lift gate in the front wow 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 so much tech like a premium car like a premium car you have also this insulation here that they added and you can see i can see i can notice that they put a lot of work and they try a lot to make a great job a great product here uh, that they offer this is the 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it's 180 horsepower but combined with an electric motor that is somewhere under there if i can say well uh, it produced 225 horsepower a lot of power it's a great system you can see here ds automobile quite nice the wipers the liquid here's the fuse box 12 volt battery and the other motor parts are down there. Quite, 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 quite nice. Good, good, good quality. Now, if you wanna open the trunk, you can do it from here. It has a button. Press it once, poof, automatic lift gate. 
in this class. <laughs> Crazy. You have handles, you have the button to close it, another handle. You have this protection for the trunk. I will take it out and I will show you the way it looks. This is the entrance. It really looks like a, like a Porsche here. Uh, look at those aluminum here that tell you this is a premium car. This is an expensive car. It's not just plastic here. Then the entrance in the trunk is relatively fine. It's big. But the trunk is not that big because it's a plug-in hybrid system. It has to fit in all that battery and uh, systems. So yeah, I don't expect to have a huge trunk here. You don't have a flat floor. You have kind of a 15 to 20 centimeters here deepness. I can see that. Some hooks in corners. We have 12 volt port, very useful. LED lights also in the trunk here. Also here's the triangle. Can put it here on the side now the car comes standard with two cables this is the normal ac cables cable and this is the cable that you can charge the car at home i will also take those out i want to show you how what is the space without those things here all right so now you can see right here without those things in the trunk the way it looks also i tell you it's not that huge but it's relatively good for the size of the car so yeah Anyway, let me take this protection out and then I will fold down the seat and I will show you how it looks without it. All right, I just take out that protection. Now you can see one more time the way it looks. Big entrance indeed. And this is the space here in the trunk. Relatively good. Now guys, the great part is that you can also fold down this uh, middle part there, kind of the middle part, I don't know how you can hold it and you can carry long items like skis you can go here you put it down and then um, you have the possibility to carry long items and this is a good thing if you go to ski if you still want to have two passengers in the back there you can fold it down and you have this possibility uh, to carry long items now let me put it back and i want to show you if you want to fold down the seats how much space you will have let me go here if you want to fold it down you can do it from here super simple just like that you just press it and push it down and now you can see what is the space here it's it's fine it's big you can fit in here many things it's not incredible big but it's more than enough for the size of the car for what this car uh, offer it's it's more 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 than enough and in my opinion, it's big enough. It's not a super flat floor. As you can see there, you have kind of a free here, maybe three, four centimeters, uh, kind of a step. But other than that, it's relatively good. Again, I want to show you from this angle that up here we have focal speakers. It has incredible sound system on the both sides, guys. And yeah, I, I cannot show you the way it sounds, but I can tell you that it has incredible, incredible sound system. So this is the trunk from this angle. I want to show you also from the side. Let me open this door. Now here, when I open this door, let's start with the beginning. The opening, it's relatively big. Nothing to say about that. The same or a lot of rubbers here. Look at this guy. They put a lot of work, a lot of work many many rubber around here and here and here and here and up here and on the side here so they make all those for the quality and from for the sound insulation so i can see that they work a lot on this car now let's go inside the entrance it's relatively big and you can see also the shape and the space from this angle quite good this is the space down here on the legs room also a lot of space even the transmission tunnel is not that big surprisingly and you can see also from here yeah quite good this is the space you can fit in there a lot a lot of stuff anyway guys now let me put everything back and then uh, we will go inside the car all right guys here on the door we have two windows one fix and one can be fold down here is the button for the windows and if you want to fold it down you can see that you can fold it almost completely down so it left there around two centimeters i like although very much those buttons look at the buttons they are so unique so nice they look so cool and the way they integrate it in the door the design of the door it's top 
it's 10 from 10. I will give it a maximum point. I mean, I love it. On the upper side here, we have soft material. Everywhere here, you can see the trim. It's soft and nice as you touch it. Then you have this beautiful small speaker. I love the way they designed it, the glossy plastic, the insertion, the wood here, kind of a, I'm not sure if it's fake or real wood, but it looks like a wood. It looks really good. Also here you have soft material, soft leather here, leather. And then you have this handle here. Then you have the, uh, the opening. Also, this in chrome look, look wonderful. A lot of storage space here, some stuff material in the interior here. Really good quality. I mean, they put a lot of good quality here. Look at the speaker, so unique, so nice, with a little bit of chrome touch. Look wonderful. Really, really top notch, top notch. Entrance, quite big. Not problem uh, with the entrance. I find it quite, quite big and spacious then going inside here you can see the space and the seats from this angle the seats are lovely i have to tell you stellantis group they really know how to make seats when they want and when they add on the premium cars they are phenomenal the headrest the stitches the side support the comfort on those seats it's incredible look the great the perfect combination uh, for a comfortable seat the side support in leather even down here you have side support really really good they add this foam high quality foam that will give you the best comfort on those seats and also we have isofix you can install two uh, child seats here on the back and if i'm not wrong also we can install it in the front there yes if i remember well yeah i think yes you can install it also in the front quite nice also i like the fact that here it's quite flat that means even free people can stay here and if you see the transmission tunnel it's not that big so that's a good thing you can stay there in the middle without any problem so overall the design of the seats it's just lovely here in the middle you have an armrest with two cup holders and some storage space here also this is very useful I like that. Behind the front seats, leather everywhere. Here usually it should be plastic, but they cover this plastic in leather. So, wow. I mean, super quality. Storage space here. Here in the middle we have vents, two vents, and they feel good as you touch it. Good quality. Two USB-C ports here and some storage space. Quite nice. Very useful. Let me go inside. Going inside, it's very easy go in super super easy once you're here close the door oh yeah you hear that you hear that door one more time oh yeah that's quality that's premium quality man now first of all position here it's good visibility it's very good why is that because they extend the window until here you see the window it's on the door and that mean good visibility for the passengers in the back not good perfect visibility i mean i love it nothing to say about that also up here you have a handle everything it's white the roof it's in white and the quality of the roof it's very good it's not alcantara but it's very very good i tell you i love it also you have up here some led lights you can touch it like that quite nice now let me stay straight this is my driving position guys the driving, uh, the sitting in my driving position, the other one, it's a little bit more in the back. And let's see how much space we have here. I'm really curious because you see from the exterior, the shape of the car. Yeah, it's quite enough. I'm 173 centimeters. So you can see right here, this is my space. I can stretch mm, just a little bit uh, the legs under the front seat, but it's relatively good. Now on the head, it's very important because they, I don't know how they managed to do the car. It's until here it comes to me. It's not so tall and it's also super aerodynamic and the ground clearance is quite high. So I was expect to have really tiny space here, but surprisingly, look at this. I have like four fingers over my head. Wow. And you can go even a little bit further on the front. And wow, for me, it's incredible good. I can't believe that. So if you are average height, you will, be, you will have no problem being here in the back. And you will have all that comfort and advantages for, for the shape of the car. If you are very tall, I don't know, you have to try it. I'm not sure about that. Try it for yourself is the best way to find out if it's good for you. Going in the middle, yeah. Okay, as expected. Here, wait a second. 
here you have this seat belt that you can push it back a little bit just like that yes now here in the middle guys it's nice it's quite soft down here it's not that comfortable as on the side but it's fine the only thing is that here on my back this center console it's a little bit stiffer and probably for long trips will be not so comfortable i don't i don't know i don't recommend long trips here in the middle but let me stay straight again four fingers a little bit less space but still four fingers on my legs also four yeah it's okay it's okay but for tall people in the middle no chance now stretch my hand on the left side not so much on the right side a little bit more I don't know why maybe I'm not staying in the middle but it's quite good two people in the back here no problem guys I tell you really really good also three people short trips medium trips you can stay here in the middle also without any problem I like it very much I like what they did it's expected because of the shape of the kind of coupe shape it's expected to to have less space here in the back but overall phew, it's good it's really really good now guys we will go in the front also i will show you this glass roof look at the glass roof it's it's wonderful the glass roof it's it's big it's half more than half of the car if i go down a little bit you can see more than half of the car uh, it's quite nice also you have this manual you can close it manually it's much better like that i really much prefer to be manual it's much faster and easier to open it and close it I like that and also you can open it completely but I don't think it's working oh yes it's working you have to hold it all the time hold that button and you open open it up look at this look at this guys yes it's just like that I think it's maximum let's check yes it's maximum the way you can open it up quite nice huh what do you think guys really cool you have also this possibility to get some fresh air and to come with more and more air um, inside the cabin so let me close it boom and i can't believe you have a glass roof and you have such a good sound insulation i mean i test drive the car and i can't believe how good is the sound insulation in the car and you have a glass roof usually with those glass roofs it's super hard to do a great sound insulation so ds great job now we will go in the front guys i want to talk a little bit about the multimedia system the new multimedia system about the steering wheel about the things there but if you look from behind here if you look at the design it's just something unique it's something from the future the way it looks is just phenomenal i love the way they design it look at the dash it's clean it's modern it's nice even though if i zoom in a little bit you can see it one more time from this angle it's it's crazy 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 nice anyway let's go in the front here we have a big window from one piece that's great because you have a great visibility in the mirror right there here on the door super super nice high quality design and materials i tell you guys on the upper side soft material as in the back the same quality is super super nice then we have also this glossy plastic then the wood insertion right here then you have those super super interesting buttons right here really really fancy buttons the way they look the way they integrate it it's, it's quite unique and nice you don't find some kind of buttons in other cars it's just wow i mean i love them also you have the lock button the lock windows the lock car then you have these vents look at the vents they are integrated in the door can you imagine that and the vents guys look at this it's a glossy plastic it's i never seen before such a vents made by completely from glossy plastic it, they, they feel so good quality it's super super premium so wow i love them really nice and they kind of stole the idea i don't know which one was first but Audi come in A3 with the same idea where the air for the vents will come out here and then come inside here and then go outside on the doors. On the Audi you have the vents up here so they, they defrost the windows and DS come with the idea down here so when you close it you can see they kind of stick together. Anyway great idea I like that it's, it's a new design I think more car more and more car will come in the future with this idea but it's, it's quite nice also we have handles here you have leather in this area stitches soft material here leather again soft material handle here super super high quality handle 
in chrome down here the same speaker uh, and then here we have a lot of storage space really much bigger where you can put a lot of stuff you can see right now there are quite a few stuff there quite nice big entrance also here in the front as you can see from this angle you can see one more time the glass roof and look at those ds seats leather seats they are wow they are super nice not only that they look good and they are super big and bright they are so big guys i will show you a little bit later you have the best comfort on those seats you have side support uh, here they are more than than comfortable here and i think they take the idea from citroen c4 and they put this 15 millimeter foam here as i can feel it uh, that help the vibration of the car the suspension it helps a lot the comfort they are so comfortable you have to try them guys you have also the ds logo here as you can see very nice integrated the new era with the headrest a little bit more soft and nice love it they are kind of my favorite seat guys down here we have electric adjustable seat you can adjust it electrically from down here the way you want it to position to save the seats manual perfect also the front part you can extend it the way you want it and uh, arrange it from from here you can see forward backward the way you want uh, then you have aluminum pedals awesome pedals i tell you they are really good the pedals really smooth really nice then we have the ds at the entrance here and some plastic wow gorgeous yeah let's go forward down here we have the control for the mirrors from here you can fold the mirrors and adjust the mirrors electrically so they add it here this time not on the door as most of the car have here you can open the trunk open the gas tank and also schedule um, the vents and then all over keep in mind all over the dash it's soft material you can see kind of a stitches there but it's soft everywhere everywhere it's soft material now let's go inside let me go inside the car, close the door. Boy, when I when I sit on those seats, it's so comfortable, man. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in a sofa. And not only that, those seats are super comfortable, but they are heated, they are ventilated, and they have also the massage function. I will show you later. They are top, top, top of the top. And look at this. Look at from, from the upper side. I want to show you something. You can see I have a lot of space even here on the side it left some space a lot of space here usually the seats are a little bit smaller but those one are quite wide I mean you feel really good on those seats visibility it's nice it's good it's like a sporty car it's not perfect but you feel you have that feeling like you are in a Audi RS3 like a sporty car uh, in terms of visibility it's very good nothing to complain but if you feel like you're in sporty car visibility as you can see i show you before outside yeah i show you the the window in the back you feel in the first impression from the outside you will think oh it's not a good visibility in the mirror but look at this look for yourself i don't even need to tell you something look at the visibility there it's good you see all the cars there in the back from this angle look at this it's just perfectly positioned and also this mirror it's huge it has these tiny edges beautiful mirror top top notch mirror anyway let's go forward uh, as i said good visibility around the windows is not perfect but it's like a sporty car also in the back there you can see the visibility is quite good maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners but it's it's super good the car come with 360 degrees camera i will show you later you don't have to worry about that look at the seats one more time in the back down here the center console come again with leather stitches leather and soft material here all over here in this area you have soft material and stitches it looks beautiful the center console also you have a space here where you can leave your key for example here you can open those just like that and here you have some storage space where you can put different things you have a usb c right there i think you can see it super nice super fancy it's perfectly positioned and you have this leather armrest here where you rest your arm and here you have this shift by wire transmission the latest technology i love this we don't have this big stick here anymore we have this shift by wire transmission where you can change the gears so easy just like that awesome you have parking button 
uh, B mode where the car will regenerate more energy and it's awesome. I explained you that in the test drive video. Other than that, look how nice they integrate here this chrome design with triangles. Then we have glossy plastic, we have the volume controllers, you have the button to open the multimedia system right here, it's already on. And you probably wonder what is this screen here? What is this screen? What what do you do with this screen? Look at this. Look at this. Usually, look at this. How cool is that screen, guys? Okay, I want to show you. Let me start the car. Ready to drive. What this screen do? It's a shortcut, guys. You can make shortcuts to the multimedia system. That mean, for example, if you want, you can do it like this. You can do a line, just like that. And when you make a line while you're driving, it's very useful because you're driving and you make a line just like that. And then the car will go in navigation. For example, if you make an L, you say, okay, the L, I want to make a shape, this shape, a round shape. Round shape, get me to the uh, multimedia system. Uh, L shape, get me to the navigation system. And you can choose what shape you want to do. And while you're driving, you can access it super easy. So that's great. Another function is that you hold it a few seconds. And then you get this on the screen. And then for here, you go just left, right, up, down. And you choose whatever you want there in the screen. So I don't know if you understand that. Press it and then choose it on the screen right here what you would like to have so one more time press it and then look at this you play there and you go to those menu you see it if you want to go to main navigation you go to navigation you press it one more time and you go to media just like that simple while you're driving it's super super easy to go in different function and you can customize the way you want it so that's super nice and also it looks futuristic and and cool right here from here you can change different driving modes so you can see the car come with four driving modes electric uh, let me show you again electric comfort hybrid and sport so you have four driving mode depending which mode you are driving those uh, settings will change so if you want to find out more about that check out the test drive guys there I explain you a little bit more about those uh, driving modes here in the front guys you have two cup holders 12 volt port USB-C and the wireless charging right there that comes with the car and also if you don't like to have that there you can close it like that and open it super simple quite cool what do you think about that it's really really nice now going forward as I said, everywhere on the dash, it's soft material. Soft material up here and here it's soft material. Only down here, it start to be some kind of a plastic. But, but guys, when I opened first time the heck, this glow box today, I was like, oh my God, the glow box quality, it's so good. I mean, this handle here, it's really special it's not like a normal car and the glow box has a light and have it's huge i mean i know stellantis group makes such a huge glow box it's incredible big i tell you it's very big the glow box very useful great job i love that keep it like that now look how nice they integrate because of that new idea of the vents there they integrated very nice the doors with the dashboard it's it's a completely shape it's so beautiful so beautiful it looks really lovely and i like the fact that the add vents here that comes directly to you yes perfectly positioned and we have vents up here that comes directly to the window that means it will defrost the window much faster and that's a big plus great job we have focal speakers focal electra speakers high Five speakers the best best speakers Some amazing sound you can see it here on the a pillar we have another one on the other side up here we have a handle we have also this white good quality uh, solar protection and then we have led lights on the both side with a mirror how cool is that super super high quality led here love it great job now up here you already see the glass roof button is there the sos button the info button the microphone and we have also of course some lights here led lights with the touch and then some information about the seat belt the mirror you already see it now let's go a little bit forward the 
handbrake is here guys keep in mind that it's down here this time quite nice place to add it start engine button super nice super unique love it then we have the hazard light and this button here will get you in the multimedia system to the um, settings of the car it'll get you directly to the function of the car the most important settings of the car but more about that in a second the head-up display have a lot of function is directly on the windshield it's it's between the best yeah you have the navigation there you can have everything you want the speed also while you're driving you can activate the cruise control and all that functions in the front there check out the test drive there i show you a little bit more information about that it's it's really quite interesting to see it what you can do with it and how it looks but keep in mind that it's great it's directly on the windscreen and you can change some functions from here behind this stalk you have a button you press this button here and you can see in the same time when you change the information on the screen on the head-up display you change it also on the uh, on the cockpit you change it also on the head-up display so you can choose what you like to to have there on the screen if you don't want to have the, the navigation all that function you don't have it if you want to have the navigation in the front wherever you can customize you have a few few ways to customize it and to see the things right there and from from the driver point of view you have perfect visibility to all of those uh, functions also uh, head-up display the cockpit and the multimedia system so from this button you customize it the same as on the Peugeot uh, new Peugeot 308 and here you have another button when you press this button you can see the consumptions for example and you can see also some kind of information about um, the car yeah let me let me start the car again and I want to show you that yes right now and if you press it look at this I don't know if you can see it there I try to zoom in a little bit but you can see you can try to see all those infos great anyway let's go forward the steering wheel very nice shape perfect shape great grip leather nice stitches incredible i mean it's easy to use easy to maneuver and very very high quality you can see even here it has leather and stitches here you have the controllers for the cruise control it's very simple to use to set and to change different functions also i show you in the test drive video check it out here we have pedals you can change the gear manual if you want to and here we have the controls for the volume and multimedia system and uh, voice command and yeah pretty cool the cockpit guys it's it's a digital cockpit it's nice it's clear but in my opinion i wish it was a little bit better like for example the new peugeot 308 have a better cockpit in my opinion much nicer much more customizable and much cooler that um, 3d cockpit but it's nice you can also customize you can see a few different things right there you have the night vision also you can see it in the front multimedia or navigation the way you want to set it out but overall it's fine you can see everything there also in the test drive video you can see more about it here in the front i want to show you also something really cool from here you probably wonder okay but where are the vents in the middle the vents in the middle are here and somehow this is the controller for the vents this is the speed the vent speed in the middle yes here on the side and here on the side and these guys you probably wonder what is this this is for the vent direction how cool is that how nice they integrated there it looks so fancy wow then we have here the buttons for the climatic system for some reason many people complain okay the touch screen with vents with climatic system doesn't work so good so if you want to turn on the vents you just have to press one button this is the defrosting, this is the maximum, this is the van, if you want to go in the climatic system, you press this button here, let me show you again, and get you to the, multi, to the climatic system function. And from here, you can choose the temperature, you can choose the van speed, so for example, just like that, you can go to one, for example, and it go to one you can choose the temperature here very 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 simple for you and the passenger you can synchronize here uh, you can put it on auto you can choose the direction where you want the air to go so it's super super simple and easy to to change all those functions and you can um, turn it off from here you press this button boom, and it's off 
press this button, it's on again. Or you press the same button and it's on again. Yes, and then you have the climatic here. Then you have also all that functions that I will show you in a second, but wait until we go there. This is the climatic system. Those are the physical buttons here, very useful. Uh, to use them you can get used with them very very fast now then you go to air quality on the air quality of course you have also this function here to air quality this is a new function the same as Koda have it these days more and more car come with this uh, filtrating air special air to filtrate the air inside the cabin and you can turn it on and off from here you have also pre-conditioning that's great because most of the plug-in hybrid cars and most of the cars these days come with this precondition and you can set uh, the precondition to hit the cabin before you leave to work for example and here you have the seats and the steering wheel the steering wheel come also with heated uh, function so you have heated steering wheel you can turn it on and off from here for example and the seats as i said it comes with heating function and not only heating function you can turn it on from here turn it off but it comes also with ventilated functions and you can turn it on from here you can hear it right now and because you have these little holes here from here will come air and it's it's incredible from here will come air outside it's just awesome in the summer uh, it's perfect because you will not sweat on your pants and this is this is super useful i love those fun functions guys i mean it's it's a must have I tell you it's really really good love the things that the car come with everything i tell you those seats are incredible and this is not all guys i will show you also the massage function on the seats multimedia system very nice integrated in the dash you can see you have a very very good screen and very responsive here you have the home button yeah it's very simple to use it press this home button every time you want to go back to a function so you press home this is the home function the home screen have kind of a four pages or whatever however pages you want to add you can add more pages or you can you can customize the way you want it this is the great thing and first page have for example the climatic system here where you can choose the van speed and different uh, functions then you have the navigation and you have the connectivity to the multimedia then you go right this is the second page where you have the navigation on the half of the screen and you have this electric function when you go there and you choose for example you can see the energy flow you can see the statistic and consumptions you can see the charging information here and here you can see the e-save we have this e-save that allow you to save the battery for later so i can save the battery for driving later 10 percent 20 percent or however you want to save it if you want to go back you probably wonder how every time you want to go back you press home screen and it gets you back where you was before this is the next page you can see the third page and on the third page it's customized the seats uh, heating and steering wheel heating and the seats option and the climatic option and here you go to the seats option you get you back in the seats option and you have all the seats option here and you have also the massage function that you see it before that i tell you before and you can turn it on from here you have free position on your seats and then you have like 10 functions shoulders lumbar stretch wave cat pal so you have around 10 position to use this massage seat how cool is that guys it's it's wow i mean it's it's incredible and you put it on zero it's great to have all those function on those seats here uh, it's it's maximum what you can have in a car let me turn it off just like that good going back press the home and you are back and yeah you can also turn it off and on from here you don't have to go in the in the menu so that's awesome then you go next you have multimedia you have again here the climatic system let me turn it off then you have the phone the others the settings the application drawer the, the navigation and the seat option and this is the last pages and if you want to customize the simplest way is just put your finger here and hold it for a few seconds let me show you again 
hold it for a few seconds and then it will get you to this uh, page where it says customize touchscreen or customize driver infotainment system by the way you can also customize the driver infotainment system you can choose what you like to have on the screen or what you like to have on the uh, head-up display so it's kind of they work in combination here and you can add a lot of pages here so they work in combination uh, up it's head-up display down it's cockpit so every time you change the view you change both of them so that's something to keep in mind you change the head-up display you change also the um, the cockpit now customizable touch screen that mean you can customize the way you want it all those pages this is the first page this is the second page this is the third page the third page and also you can add if you want another page so next page and then you add wherever you want here i don't know add something advanced driving assist system boom and then you add another thing uh, you can go to climatic system or you can go to add uh, the help user help menu and down here you can add for example uh, application or energy flow yeah for example just like that and you can customize the way you want those pages it's just incredible how you can make your own page save it and continuing and next time when you go home you will have an extra page this page that i created now so super awesome super easy go back to menu now let's play a little bit again navigation system talking a little bit about navigation let me let me extend it press this one i want to make it all, all over the page navigation it's huge look at it it's big all over the screen and it's much more responsive than before it's super super good start to be one of the best navigation and also you have that 3d options you press a destination let's go here for example let's press this destination come on okay and then you press drive and let's see how fast it's loading pretty fast that's good you press drive and you're good to go guys just like that super super simple and you have everything you need right here on your screen all the information of course you have it also on the head of display all the information right there and the directions and if you press and start the car let me show you you have all over the screen information right there nice yes look how clear they are good anyway this is the navigation go back to home again and then i want to show you one more thing if you go here to the others others mean all the safety features guys here you have all the functions safety functions of the car the car come also with close obstacle detection rear cross traffic alert lane keeping assist automatic brake system traction control speed limit recognizer traffic speed night vision and driver attention all those functions you can activate this activate you have the tutorial here that help you out with all these things then you have the settings on the settings you have all this profile you can create profile you can change the display the colors of the display you have the active sport sound it's a special sound when you are in sport mode the exterior animation interior animation connectivity here the system uh, all those information date time kilometer miles you can change temperature fahrenheit and reset all those things then you have the brightness here it's the same system as peugeot new peugeot 308 use it interior light here the brightness head up display you can activate disactivate and change the brightness audio here all the settings of the audio are here the vehicle settings lights and vehicle access and safety are here and updates of course in service connective service um, yeah super nice super super nice go back going to the application drawer here we have all the apps all the apps are here the seats option the settings the mirror screen of course you can connect your android and apple uh, phone right here uh, but you need um, 
you need also use a cable or you can use it wireless so keep in mind you can do it wireless as well it says here wireless using the button below and connect device and you connect it i will make a separate video about that check out next days to see how it works good go to navigation and then seats option and the telephone you already know all those things guys it is super super simple and yeah i think i show you almost everything i will make a separate video with this multimedia system i will explain you more about it uh, there in the video other than that this was all guys i hope you really enjoy the review with this new ds4 i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information from here if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask i will answer to you guys also if you are in switzerland around switzerland uh, check out emil frey in mosedorf i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see it uh, they have great service and uh, good prices as well i guess that was all my rating for this ds4 because it's an incredible car i know it's a little bit expensive but for this class for what this car offer i should say it's at the top level close to probably s class or something like that it's just incredible also the driving feeling it's incredible uh, so i will give it a 9.9 .9. there are a few things here that i wish to have like auto hold function and i wish the cockpit to be a little bit nicer a little bit more customizable as in other cars but other than that it's just incredible car in terms of comfort driving feeling it's everything you wish it's, it's stop so that was the video thank you very much for watching i hope it was useful i really appreciate that watching my video guys thank you very much also don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that stay safe and don't forget to check out the test drive with the same car see you soon guys bye